Welcome to the weekly weather briefing for June 24th, 2013. This is the National Weather Service in Spokane, Washington, and we will discuss the weather for the upcoming week. This week begins with a series of wet storm systems which will deposit significant rain amounts over most locations. By Wednesday, the last disturbance in this series will bring some lingering mainly mountain showers then a significant warming and drying trend will commence with more seasonably normal summertime conditions expected through the weekend. There is a chance of a few thunderstorms with a weak disturbance expected through the region Friday night and Saturday. The Independence Day outlook suggests the holiday will be dry and warm. A deep upper level flow sitting off the uh, Gulf of Alaska will hurl a series of moisture laden waves through the region through Wednesday. These waves will manifest themselves as periods of light to moderate rain within, with the intermissions characterized by scattered rain showers and isolated thunderstorms, some containing brief heavy rain. Here are the graphs showing the seven day forecast for the Spokane and Wenatchee areas. The red graph shows the high temperature forecast. The green bar graphs show the chance of precipitation for each day. While periods of rain in the Spokane area will be a near certainty today and tomorrow, Wenatchee will also experience rain, but the nature will be more intermittent and showery. After bottoming out well below normal on Tuesday, high temperatures will progressively increase to above normal by the weekend at both locations. A similar temperature and precipitation trend is also apparent for Lewiston this week. Rainfall total accumulations through Wednesday will range from around a quarter of an inch in the Deep Basin and Cascades Lee areas to around a half inch to three quarters of an inch over the rising terrain of the eastern Columbia Basin, around three quarters of an inch in the valleys of the mountains ringing the basin, culminating in readings well over one inch over the higher terrain. Bear in mind that these are just rough overall estimates and there could be locally heavier amounts for locations that are run over by thunderstorms containing brief heavy downpours. Expected precipitation amounts over the region will be less than what we experienced last week. Still, runoff from these storms will be sufficient to increase the flow in small creeks and tributaries. There is a possibility that some thunderstorms will contain heavy rain rates in their cores, which could trigger localized mudslides on steep and sparsely vegetated slopes. The axis of the main thunderstorm threat will be over the eastern portion of the forecast area, including the Idaho Panhandle. Consequently, the threat of flash flooding on the recent burn scars around Wenatchee is low with this current wet period. While the expected rainfall amounts will not be enough to cause any flooding issues on main stem rivers, the Kootenai River at Bonners Ferry will continue to run well above action stage through the week due to continued elevated upstream dam discharges. The only other noticeable main stem river response will be on the Stahican River at Stahican, which may flirt with action stage on Tuesday. The warming and drying trend beginning on Thursday will brief, be briefly interrupted by a weak disturbance Friday night and Saturday, which may be sufficient to trigger some thunderstorms over northeast Washington and the Idaho Panhandle. Not all of our models are indicating this disturbance, and so we will need to monitor this potential and refine the forecast as the week wears on. Here is the 8 to 14 day outlook from the Climate Prediction Center. The brown bullseye over Washington State on the left panel indicates that the odds strongly favor below normal precipitation, which actually isn't saying much since normal precipitation this time of year is quite low. The big story for this graphic is on the right panel, which indicates that the odds strongly favor warmer than normal temperatures. Normal for this time of year is in the lower 80s, so the takeaway from this graphic is that the upcoming holiday week will probably be warm and dry. So in summary, this week will start out wet and cool and then become progressively warmer and drier with the possibility of, some, of a small interruption by thunderstorms Friday night and Saturday. If you have any questions or comments, send us an email at the above address. Here is how you can stay informed and get the latest information from the National Weather Service Spokane Forecast Office.